Inventions and Technologies. From beginnings as extraordinary as the decades that would follow, the F-16 evolved from its lightweight fighter origin to a vital element of air combat. The revolutionary fighter would bring new and innovative technologies to combat aircraft, boasting agility and performance seen in no other fighter at the time. If its extraordinary success can be measured by demand, the final chapter is far from being written. While it carries the symbols of many nations, for 30 years, it has proudly worn the colors of America's ambassadors in blue. America's own, your United States Air Force demonstration squad, known to all the world as the Thunderbird. The 16 has ripped up enemy ground forces in Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, and Serbia, and is set to change the balance of power for Ukraine and Taiwan. No other jet fighter out there is almost 50 years old and still in such demand. Go ahead, criticize me. Sure, the 15 Eagle has the 104 to 0 combat kill ratio. The 22 Raptor is the most technically superior fighter, with its stealth and speed, and FIS were just sent back to the Middle East to counter unsafe Russian air activity over Syria. Looking back, who doesn't love the Navy's Top Gun 14 Tomcat, now retired, or early jets like the F-86 Sabre of Korean War fame? Still, nothing can match the combat power, versatility, and long production run of the F-16. This is one busy jet. Right now, us from Portugal and Romania are flying NATO's air policing against Russian intruders up in the Baltics. Us from Taiwan face down mass packages of Chinese combat aircraft. Remember that sonic boom over Washington, D.C. on Sunday, June 4th. That, folks, was just 116. The shockwave emitted as the 16 accelerated past the speed of sound jolted and shook houses along a 40-mile arc ranging across suburban Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Maryland. If you heard it, you were lucky, it's very rare, because restrictions bar the fizz guarding the Capitol from going supersonic except in an emergency. Yes, American FIS are also certified to carry tactical nuclear weapons for extended deterrence for allies, as Russia's lugubrious Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov complained last week. Thus sat nuclear alert in Germany for years during the Cold War. Get ready for this, over 4,560 degrees Fahrenheit have been produced since the 1970s. That's not the record for a jet fighter. You Vietnam veterans know that the total of 5,195 degrees Fahrenheit for phantoms produced from 1958 to 1979 is a bigger number. Thus won more air-to-air -air kills against communist MiG fighters in the Vietnam War than any other airplane, by far. But most any four pilot will agree the 16 is just plain better. The 16 is a flat-out beautiful airplane. 16 wings can withstand 9 Gs, that's 9 times the force of gravity the accepted maximum for fighter pilots. I flew in a two-seat 16 with the Air Force's aggressor squadron in Alaska all back. Their squadron ready room had lots of Red Stars hammers and other Chinese and Russian-looking Decker and paraphernalia, since their mission is to master enemy tactics, then train our pilots to defeat them. All their fits had come from striped reserves their paint schemes. We spent an hour jinking and banking, committing out on other aircraft targets as directed by master controllers. The 16 was so smooth, I was sorry when we touched down. The sleek finest 16 fighter suffers from funny nicknames like Viper and Lawn Dart, but it's a true multi-role airplane. The finest 16 first flew in 1974 and was purchased by the Air Force to be the cheap little brother of the 15 Eagle. The 16 did much more. It went on to stock up NATO air forces and kick butt in multiple wars in Iraq, hitting everything from strategic targets to Iraqi ground forces. The design turned out to be tough and versatile. The Air Force just kept upgrading the 16 with new technology and weapons. 
Currently, the Flyna 16 carries 180 different configurations of conventional weapons. Lockheed Martin's new plant in Greenville, South Carolina, is churning out four FIS per month. FIS will fly through the year 2060. The 16 is truly a global aircraft flown by 25 nations from Poland to Israel to South Korea, you name it. Foreign customers will buy $64 billion worth of the jets in years to come. So while the 16 is a mighty combat record and a global following, it's also the huge future tasks that established the 16 the greatest of all time. Naturally, this were the right choice for Ukraine. What a shame it took President Joe Biden so long. Give Ukraine's combat-hardened pilots a 45-day checkout course, and they could be flying for us right now. Yes, Russia's air defenses positioned from Belarus to Crimea are formidable, but FUS could still be highly effective using proper tactics. FUS can unleash precision weapons on Russian troops, artillery, vehicles and other military targets in Ukraine. I was shocked when National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told CNN that the critical systems for the counteroffensive are not planes. What is this word war on? Air power has dominated the American way of war since 1918. Hopefully the appreciation of air power will go up soon. The next chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Air Force General Charles Q. Brown, is an 16 pilot extraordinaire and he understands the perils of China. That brings us to Taiwan, whose Air Force has relied on the Flyna 16 for many years. Taiwan is upgrading its FIS and buying a new batch, too. Taiwan's FIS would be at the forefront of any hot war with China. If it comes, heaven forbid, the FIS are too. Taiwan's FIS would be at the forefront of any hot war with China. If it comes, heaven forbid, the FIS are going to defend Taiwan and its 23 million people and convince China's thug president Xi Jinping that blockade and coercion can't conquer that island. What about the 35 Lightning? This stealth cousin to the 22 is a big success for the Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and many allies from Britain to Germany. Yet the 35 is not likely to surpass the 16 lifespan or production run, especially as the Air Force brings in more drones to augment fighter missions. And in the end, it's that big future of the 16 that makes it the GOAT. Inventions and Technologies